Hey planner babes, thanks for coming to my channel or thanks for coming back if you're new here or switch that around opposite. <laughs> thanks for being here. Um, okay, so it's really exciting and I apologize that I never did an unboxing because I was just so dang excited to get my um, custom BDS Velvet Sand. And yeah, no, I got her January 6th and I also ordered an Allison that came at the same time and I ordered her in the middle of October. So it took about the, what they estimate for the time to come, a lot, about 11 weeks. So that was fine. I expected that. And then I got some customizations, like I said. Um, I'll point them out for you. Um, I And I'll put everything in the description box below as well. So it's easy to reference. But I got the chunky clasp, not the A4, the chunky clasp. I got squared corners. This one is interesting. I, I saw it on somebody's YouTube video. I can't remember who, unfortunately, but I got a 25 millimeter back plate, but I got 30 millimeter rings. So what that means is that this spine is just a little bit easier to hold for me um, in my hand. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit more narrow, and it didn't warp the planner at all. So I'm going to do that for the future if I ever get another one for sure. So that's a little tip if you want kind of like a more streamlined looking planner that's not so thick on the spine and then I so I got the silver 30 millimeter um rings of course it's stuffed to the brim <laughs> I got the nomad pocket on the left side here on the layout and I got the fly leaf and I believe that is it if I think of anything else I'll put it in the description box like I said Okay, so I'm going, I was going with like the nude vibes. Um, Amanda Lee Plans was my huge inspiration, as she always is. <laughs> I don't think she watches my videos, but thank you so much for just your creativeness <laughs> and sharing it. So this is from Elmont Paper Co. And this card is from Twines and Paper. It's super soft. This planner card, Morning Habits, is from Planner Press. And I actually really like the habits that are on here, like stretch when you first wake up. I always need to be reminded of that. Play your favorite music, three things you love about yourself. It's it's a good one. I like it a lot. And this January card is from Noted Company. And then this uh, tea, uh, mag it's a magnet, is from Kubo and Lucy. And then I just made this little task card with my label maker. And this is from Luna Luz Plants. And this one is from Queen City Designs. She overcame everything that was meant to destroy her. So that's a little nice affirmation or whatever you call it there. And then these stickers are from Paper Replanning. And then, so going on to the flyleaf, this is from Soli Paper, this inbox here. It's a foldable. If I can work a foldable at the moment. There we go. Not rocket science, Crystal. Not rocket science. Okay, there we go. And then flipping it over, this card is from Twines and Paper as well. It's gorgeous. It's it, the, it, the letters are raised and it's super soft. I love it. Then, then this is an Ollie clip from Ollie Block. And then over here we have cloth and paper inbox glass dashboard with um, handmade, HRH handmade um, acetate. I ordered this acetate in silver, gold, and white. So you'll see it throughout my planner and planners because <laughs> I cut it down to multiple sizes. And this is from the neutral planner and the big plans. I hope the lighting is okay. The, my ring light was actually too bright at first, so I turned the lighting down a bit and I have the window open, so it's kind of a combination of natural light and the ring light, but hopefully it's okay. Let me know if it's not though. And then this is cloth and paper, bravery dashboard, Luna Loose plans, and this is from Paper Replanning. Then we have an Infinite Lotus 2023 um, overview. And this um, pocket here is from Plan X Doe. And I love it so, so much. I would definitely reorder this again. And then these cards from Queen City Designs and Twines and Paper. And Lucy Plans Life and Elmont Paper Co. With uh, Queen City Designs dashboard following up. <laughs> and then more um, sticky notes, cloth and paper, and my minimal planner. Um, this one's a printable. And then I have the January Vellum here from Sterling Inc. And then I have over here this uh, card pocket I made out of acetate and three sticky pockets. And I just hole punched it. And these cards are from Luna Luz Plans. And you plug in whatever you want your writing to be. So it's customizable. And then I have the monthly goals here from Studio 17, which is Luna Luz Plans as well. And I really like this because it only provides you three spots. So you don't overwhelm yourself with goals for the month. And I have these 
they're kind of like my breakdown of my yearly goals. Some of them, not all of them, um, for the month. So I like that. And I highlight it when I got one done. And then this is from Queen City Designs, Crystal Plants. That's my, um, obviously my hashtag username. What do you call it? Handle, handle. <laughs> and then, so this is from Cat's Bressico. Cat's Bressico has incredible pockets as well. They both do, like, incredible. And then these little, um, I printed these cards on acetate, so that's why they're see-through. And they're from Your Paper and Line Co. With, um, Royal Planner Shop on sticky notes on the back. Oh, by the way, Your Paper and Line Co. has recently changed to Dear Paper Plans. They rebranded. So, I might say Dear Paper Plans. It's Your Paper and Line Co. I know they were Your Paper and Line Co. How many times can I say that? <laughs> For a long time. So, they're the same. They're the same thing, if you're wondering. And this is from EO Edits, one of my fave shops, and another Cat's Bressico pocket. And then this is actually from Pinterest, um, Flora Pippa Tree, Ivy Mill Ink, and Pinterest. And this is actually so beautiful. Um, my boyfriend's mom uh, passed away recently, and she loved birds. And we and hummingbirds really stand out to us, remind us of her. So anytime you see hummingbirds, it's for it's for um, Mary there. But so we have that. Oh, that's from Plain Chic Plants. Love it. And then I have a Soli Paper double side dashboard. And then these dividers I actually made myself. I have five millimeter laminating sheets and I just put it through like nothing inside of them. I just laminated just the sheet and then I just cut out the shape myself and use my label maker to label it. So inbox is my first section as it usually is. And this is from Twines and Paper, this clear etched dashboard. And then Twines and Paper as well. And then this is from Paper Test Designs and Hey Planner Girl. Sorry if I'm going kind of fast. My planner's kind of chunky and I don't want the video to drag on. <laughs> um, it's from, but I want it to be pretty detailed in this one because it's my everyday carry. It's going to be like this for quite a while, I think, because I'm really in love with the setup and I'm really in love with the planner. So I'm going, I'm going in with the details, with the deets. <laughs> and this is from Paper Plans Co. This inbox here with some cloth and paper sticky notes. And then this is a cloth and paper glass dashboard with some more of their sticky notes on there. And another cloth and paper. I have a shit ton of inbox type of things in here. I don't know why. I just can't resist. I Yeah, it's, it's not useful to have them all, but I just can't help myself. So there we go. <laughs> Makes me smile, I guess. Um, inbox bottom tab there from cloth and paper. And this one's from Queen City Designs. And then we get into the actual inserts, yay! <laughs> so this is from, uh, what's it called? Scarlet Joe Planson, I love that one. Sorry guys, I'm back now. You might not even have noticed that I left. We had to take the dog out, <laughs> duty calls, but back now. And then, so where we left off was still in the inbox session, section. What is it, it's how many minutes into the video? I can't tell because I just restarted it, but inbox, anywho. It is an EO Edits dashboard here. That's from Unoya by Design. I really like her designs. <laughs> and that's from Paper Plans Co. A Poyan Hun sticky note, cloth and paper. This is another one of the HRH handmade um, dashboards. I will um, write all the shop names and people I mentioned down in the description bar. I might not link everybody, but I, I'll definitely write everybody's name so you can reference it. And I always write their names in list of how I say them, like what I show them. So it'll all be in order. If you want to look at the video and the list at the same time and kind of reference it that way, they'll all be in order. And this is from Plan X Do. I love this little pocket with some of their nude page flags. And that's from Twines and Paper. And this is Cloth and Paper. Oh no, okay, good. Cloth and Paper too. And a Cat's Bressico this time with Pinterest images. And EO Edits, pretty hello dashboard with a noted co dashboard there that's really soft. And then we're into the list section, which is my chunkiest section. Have trouble saying my S's sometimes <laughs> by far. And another one of their page covers from Paper Test Designs. And then this one, this pocket is from Cat's Russell Co. I know it can be kind of hard to tell because the Plan X Doe has just PS right here. And then Cat's Russell Co. doesn't have anything. So I like to point them out um, just in case you're looking to maybe purchase one or something like that. And then this is from Noted Co. And that's from Lucy Plan's Life. 
and Maria plans with another Lucy plans life. And this is twines and paper. And then we just have a bunch of lists. So I have some trigger lists written out here on Latua notes inserts. And this is paper test designs, get it done inserts. And then these are my answers to some of my trigger lists. This is like my self care goals. This is on um, a Latua notes insert called organize. I really love it. It's super functional um, and versatile. That's what I was trying to say. So I have some self care goals on there. I want another tattoo. Oh, I did. I got my hair blonde again. So that's good. It's been, I didn't get my hair done um, until before COVID. So it had been like two years. I let my hair grow out and I used to be blonde, but my hair is brown. So it didn't grow out like with a stark line. Like it kind of blended all together to look like balayage, I guess. But I missed my blonde hair so bad. And I think my boyfriend did too and everybody else in my life. I just I just wish I was a natural blonde. But so I got my hair done finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was good. And yeah, no, so that's good. And then some like best post times. I don't know how accurate these are. I don't always follow them. Sometimes I just go widdly niddly and post stuff. Then this is some song lists on paper test designs. Hey, planner girl. This is Peanuts Planner Co. list insert. I just have some notes on there. This is a freebie from SM Plans. It's little hearts there on the checklist. And then this is from um, Infinite Lotus list. Let's talk about that one. These are just some scrap pieces of paper from... Um, cloth and paper but I really like their paper so I didn't want to waste anything and then this little bookmark here that I slit is from Infinite Lotus it's super thin but it's really durable and then this is the weekly checklist from my minimal planner make sure I'm kind of in frame there there we go and then things to buy is from my minimal planner as well with an Infinite Lotus notes insert there and then Scarlett Joe plants in another notes too. She's on Etsy. Um, good shop. I like her stuff. Shit to remember. And just kind of like vision board for my boyfriend. I kind of want to make for him. <laughs> and this one is from Calixta Creations, the marble one. Then I got a cloth and paper um, ruler here that I can slit in and out as well. With some more, some more notes sections. This is Simple and Trendy Co. This is Planner Room Shop. I have a whole different array, a whole array, sorry, of note paper to fancy my needs anytime I need them. <laughs> and then this um, editable, editable um, dashboard is from the Neutral Planner and Big Plants. So I just wrote my name in there. And then this is one of the white dashboards from HRH Handmade. And then this was in her Patreon, Maria Plans, with a Queen City Designs dashboard behind everything. That's my birth year. That's why I kind of have it on there. And then Paper Test Designs sticky note with cloth and paper. And a noted, it's so soft, I have to pet them. I just have to every time I pass them. <laughs> a noted company dashboard. And then this uh, card here is from Sess AB, along with the clip. And that's noted company with all, they're all housed in a cat's Russico pocket. And then that's from Planet Stow, these little stickers there. And I feel like they match super well with the coloring of Sticky Monster Co.'s beautiful dashboard here. And on top of that is, where is this from? Cat's Presto Co. A lot of people have it, Cat's Presto Co. And then this is a freebie from Brown Plans, actually. Cloth and paper. And then we're into my weeklies. And we talked about that. We did, we did. This is another um, Patreon from Maria Plans with a Paper Plans Co. weekly planner dashboard there, like a cover page. And then this is from, not mad about it. She's on Etsy. I really like her stuff. Um, simple to the point, and I like actually want to follow these for my weekly plans. This is Latua Notes and My Minimal Planner. And then this is for My Minimal Planner as well. It's one of my favorite inserts that I have because it just covers everything that I need in a month or even a weekly view. It has to do, to pay, to clean, to call, to buy. And to email too. And those are all the areas of my life that pretty much need to be taken care of um, at high level. So th this keeps me on track. And this is my minimal planner too. With a Peanuts Planner Co. fold out. We love that. I use that one to reference um, when I'm dating my undated inserts. And then my first inserts here are a week on two page by Noted Company. These ones actually got sent to me from, they're the first inserts I ever had printed and sent to me. And also it was kind of nice, kind of felt a little fancy. <laughs> so the next week I don't have too much going on, I already planned it. So I have a couple of those in there. And then I have EO Edits Weekly Plans. These are printables and I, I'm in love with these too. So 
they have undated and a, it's kind of like a hobonichi how it's set up is you do your plans right here or whatever you want and then you put your tasks right here and she already has the circles there and which i love and they're nice big ones too so you get a nice check mark in there nice satisfying check mark right <laughs> and then you have meals over here that you can plan a little notes area i just put my word of the year on a sticky note there renewed and then self-care section which is so nice so nice self-care to buy to do and habits so it really has everything you need to well everything i need and then this is from queen city designs I believe and yeah so i have another one of the weeklies there i was just using some happy planner stickers on there for fun for funsies and there we go and it, it has a nice dashboard on the back too so you can't go wrong then this little paper clip i believe i got off amazon and then i put on this paper clip and kind of just made it i guess and then this is picture of loved ones and then iconic um card from planner press this one's one of my favorites with a twines and papers dashboard and a posh paper tree dashboard and fun fact i think i'm gonna get this quote tattooed but just altered a little bit i kind of want to get she conquered her hardships and wore her scars like wings and i like um not to get too long and off on a tangent but i had to get a surgery to remove my large intestine because i have ulcerative colitis and my bowel perforated so i have a huge scar running um vertically up and down my stomach so it's kind of like i do wear them like a badge of honor like that i got through everything too and i survived so yeah fun little fact there that's kind of what i want to get tattooed and then this is from Luna Luz Plans in Point Hun, and this is Studio 17, Luna Luz Plans as well. And then we're into the dailies. Very those. And then that's from Not Mad About It as well, but it's the daily. And then this is a freebie from Planning with DVB, Seven Lovely Logics. And I like those, like, what others think of you is none of your business. Time heals almost everything. Give some time some time. So true. No one is the reason of your happiness except for yourself. Just really thoughtful um, things to think about. And then these are from Paper Test Designs. It's a day on two pages. And again, I love these so much. You have your timetable over here and you can write on both sides. So I don't really use each side for like one thing specifically. I just kind of keep going back and forth with my plans. And then you have your to-dos over here. The beautiful nude color we all know and love. <laughs> and top three priorities, which I do like putting my priorities. And then some notes down there. So again, this has everything that I need and I love. And then same with this insert. It's a two days on one page this time. So these are for some less busy days going on. And it has just, um, uh, what's it called? We, I just, I, I talk about it all the time. Task, task. <laughs> and then I put AM and PM here and then put my plans for the day in there. Top three priorities. Yay, yay. And just put the date up there. So we have that. This is from Planner Insert Company. I like it too. Lots of um, task lists there to use. And this is from SM Plans. It's one page a day. And I like to do my affirmations, my wins for the day, and my gratitudes. And when I saw this insert, I was like, whoa, like, win. They're, that's one of the wins. <laughs> They're all together on one insert. And I can put my daily to-dos down here, daily to-buys if I have any, and then, like, any plans down here. So I use this as a daily sometimes. So I really like that. And that's from Cloth and Paper, the Today um, tab. So I have some of those. This is from my minimal... Sorry, I don't know if you just heard that, but my dog kind of coughed. <laughs> um, a hairball, I think. Something like that, probably. Um, my, he's okay. He's okay. My minimal planner. Um, dream, teamwork makes a dream work. And these are for you and your partner to kind of fill out together or by yourselves. Kind of just like things of personal information about each other. This kind of fun little looks you do things to look back on. And hopefully the other person gets them all right, right? <laughs> and then I have a solely paper um, double-sided task board for a trigger board there. Trigger board. I'm getting all my words mixed up. Trigger list. <laughs> and then this is from Plan Xdo. It's got um, kind of like a slip pocket here with some journaling cards in there. Then I have... This is from a shop on Etsy that I can't remember the name and it's not posted on here. So I will write it in the description box for you guys for sure. And then this is from Queen City Designs. This really, it's a linen texture. Feels really nice. Luna Loose Plants, cloth and paper. And then we're onto the monthlies. Yay, yay. So here we have another beautiful, I love the gold um, dashboard that is HRH handmade, like a luxe kind of design going on. I love it so much. 
And then a um, monthly routine checklist. And then these are from Paper Plants Co. I just print them on vellum. I have one for each month going on. So J for January. And then one other, I'm not mad about it, um, insert, but, the, but the, it's the monthly. And what these did, they actually all came in one listing together and they were one price and you got them in multiple sizes on top of getting the three lists as well. I hope that made sense, but it was a really great deal. I really liked that. And then this is from Noted Company. These monthlies I'm using, they are printables and they're dated. And yeah, so my month's been kind of, it's been kind of in the bulk of the middle. It's been kind of crazy, but that's okay. And then this monthly um, or tab, I labeled it monthly, but it comes unlabeled, is from Plan Exto. Yep, Plan Exto. And I have February in here. I usually just keep one quarter in here because I don't want it to get too even more bulky. I don't think it can handle any more bulk. <laughs> and then this is from Casper Esico, a beautiful floral pocket with uh, Queen City Designs and uh, my minimal planner cards and Luna Luz Studio 17 card there. It's if found. And then I have my yearly section. So this one's kind of thin um, and I just reference it as my future log there from Paper Test Designs. It's her, it's her um, 2023 bundle. This is a freebie from Maria Plans. It's the holidays of the year. I'm in Canada and these are um, United States, but still, still works really good. I like, I love the design for it too. And this is Maria Plans. And then we go on to the birthdays of the Paper Test Designs section. And then this, I got another inspiration from Amanda Lee Plans. She puts her three top, um, three top memories, sorry, of the month in these boxes here. And so I wanted to do the same thing, basically. <laughs> so I've been doing that. So I have the whole year in there for that. And then we're on to my tracker section, which I kind of wish my tracker was ahead of my yearly section, but I've already labeled the tabs and everything. So that's okay. This is from Ash Plans on Etsy. And then this is a Cat's Resico pocket with Luna Loves Plans and Posh Paper Tree up here. And then same on the back. And then this um, Habit Tracker is from EO Edits and it's so gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, so I just have all my habits listed down here, that like monthly stuff. And then on the back, I put all my different types of moods that I can be. And I track my moods too here. So I kind of like see like the top is best, bottom is worst. So you can kind of see how it's going like in a graph type. I'm kind of doing the same thing over here on this wonderful insert that I use every month by Monthly Joy um, to track my moods too. Like the top is, the top for me is good. Yeah. And the bottom is bad. Yeah. Just like it says, but um, and I put the number by the day here because it's listed for 30 up to 31 days. And I put a little blurb. Um, that's the difference about what has been going on during the day. So I can kind of reference back if I'm looking like, oh, dang, like I was pretty sad that day. What happened? So I can kind of know because God knows I don't remember. And then I have positive mindset insert from Perfective Paper. It's kind of like the SM Plans one. And then my minimal planner wins of the day. So like the SM Plans one too. And then I have my no spend tracker from EO Edits. So the dots are no spend days. So I've been doing pretty good actually. And then the circles are days that I spent and it was just little purchases, <laughs> she says, but it's been, it's been pretty good this month. And then this is a free habit tracker for yearly stuff from Nada Notes. And these are kind of like monthly goals, overviews, kind of like journaling a little bit that you can do. They're from Your Paper and Line Co. or Dear Paper Plans. And then this is from Planix Do The Pocket. And that's EO Edits, EO Edits, and Your Paper and Line Co. Or again, Dear Paper Plans. <laughs> and then these are from Pinterest. And then I have like a tiny little finance section because I have a whole other planner dedicated just to finances. So I didn't want to do too much overlapping. So this is from Lucy Plans Life. It's just some finance tips and posh paper tree. I run on coffee and grace. <laughs> I love that dashboard. And then I have um, cloth and paper wish list here and a gift list from your paper and line co dear paper plans. And I have infinite Lotus order tracker here. And on the back, I just have more pictures of loved ones. So cuties, so cuties. And this is a cat's breast co pocket too. I just love feeling it too. Oh gosh, I could feel my planner all day if that doesn't sound too weird. <laughs> and then I have the outbox. So there's the inbox bottom tab at the front I put. And then I have the outbox bottom tab. If you can see it there. Yeah, at the bottom. And then in the back, I just have some journaling cards, some cloth and paper sticking, um, stickers. This is from Twines and Paper and that's from Solely Noted. 
And yeah, that's, that about sums her up. So yeah, no, I just moved into her. Like I said, I just got her in the kind of beginning, middle of January. And I did spray her, actually. I sprayed her with this stuff. It's MB Protex. I just ordered it off Amazon. I think it did a pretty good job. I only sprayed one layer on, though, because I was too impatient. And I kind of think I should have sprayed two because already a week after I got her, my little dogs at my parents' house decided to sniff my planner. So this is what these lovely little marks are for. So I probably won't ever resell this. Not that I want to, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, but I got this little brush. Where did I get it? Sorry, I just want to show you guys all the stuff that I got for this planner because I was really meticulous on like what my plan was with it and where I wanted to store it. And then so I had to get this brush though to clean it. And I didn't put any liquid, no solution or anything on it. I just bristled out um, the spots because there was a bigger spot right here actually so this worked really really well and again I didn't put any um, liquid or um, like solutions on it or anything I just was brushing and then I took my hand and like rubbed through so there are some of these really dark spots that are hard to get off but there was a spot here I don't know you can maybe see the remnants there's a spot over here like her nose just like went crazy I don't know what she she went crazy for this leather oh my god <laughs> but yeah, so that's my whole um, Velvet Sand Flip. Pretty happy in her. I wish she was a little bit less chunky, but, you know, hey-ho. That's kind of the way I roll, I guess. And then, so awesome. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. I always forget to say that, but I'm sure you guys know how to do that anyway. <laughs> Bye.